Hi and welcome in this tutorial for Maya projection and animation. So let's start with opening a Photoshop and with this sample image uh, that I've taken. So uh, first we need to separate uh, to make a mask so we can more easily extract uh, pieces from the background. So first now I'm using the curves just to darken the foreground, the trees and uh, the road and also using the levels to extract the sky from all the, all the rest of the photo. So using again levels. And now I'm thinking uh, this, the first desaturating uh, the whole thing so it's uh, black and white. Now taking the black uh, brush and just uh, painting on top of the areas that I don't want to be seen. And just uh, scanning down the brush and filling up smaller areas between the trees. Also, uh, I'm careful not to uh, mask out any areas that are actually uh, looking through the trees. This whole process is generally different with every image, but uh, generally you can take uh, this route and this uh, work workflow and first create general mask that you can extract stuff from. So I'm continuing to paint uh, the mask. Just checking if everything is okay and now I'm going to switch to white and just uh, remove the areas that I don't need. Also I have to be uh, extra careful, uh, careful here not to delete any areas that I want and in this case I'm trying again to use the levels just to extract uh, more stuff from the sky. And now I'm uh, scanning down the brush again just refining the areas between the branches also when doing projections and you have a photo to work with uh, generally you should uh, figure out how to cut it so uh, you have different pieces for uh, different models that you're going to do in uh, Maya or uh, your 3D application so in this case I'm going to cut the left uh, forest uh, and the right uh, forest that are on the side of the road. Also I'm going, uh, going to take out the road itself. I'm going to take this far uh, mountain and its forest uh, behind the background. And then finally I'm going to cut the sky itself. So I'm continuing to clean up the image, the mask. Also, again, you can use the levels and the curves uh, just to clean up uh, parts of the image. So you can select a part and clean it with the, this process instead of uh, using the brush. But uh, generally, if you paint out stuff, it's just more precise. Now I'm duplicating the background and creating a mask for it and taking the mask that I've uh, created and painted and duplicating it in the channel of that background. So now the mask that I've created is uh, in the mask of the background. Now using the quick selection tool I'm going to select this right uh, forest beside the road and this will be my first part uh, that I'll extract from the image. So just selecting now using the last tool You just have to be careful where um, 
the forest stands just not to cut the piece from the background uh, forest and mountain also again you can use the levels and the curves uh, just to clean up uh, parts of the image so you can select a part and clean it with the, this process instead of uh, using the brush but uh, generally if you paint out stuff it's just more precise I'm just selecting that uh, bottom pile of uh, snow and just I'm going to be careful not to select the road itself now I'll uh, hold control alt and shift and left click on the sky uh, mask so now I will have only a selection of the forest without the sky so now I will create a new layer and fill it with the uh, black for the mask now I will duplicate the background and do the same as the sky layer I will create a new mask with that selection and now as you see I have only the forest I am going to duplicate the background again and start selecting the left uh, forest Now here you have to be careful not to select any of the forest uh, that's in the back in, uh, in the background. Many times you have to use different types of selection, not just uh, one tool. Now I'm selecting these brushes and undergrowth. That's on the left side of the road. 